Where the father was a snake, the son is a line of war and battles. In a holy war for Cyprus, these orthodox soldiers followed Nikiforos into the fray, only to find that the Abbasid were commanded only by frightened sheep. The island was liberated, and the people rejoiced, for their liberator had come at last. Unlike his father, a diligent man who believed in work before pleasure, the good Nikiforos held feasts and hunts for his subjects, a token of kindness to those unused to his methods. Where there is celebration, tragedy looms close by. The loss of one of his daughters, Thankfully, she survived by several children. Now here's where things got interesting. He didn't settle for planting seeds for future generations. Instead, an internal war was waged for Anatolia. Lesser men fell by the wayside before his trained regimented army, leaving him alone to declare that the despotate of Anatolia had finally been formed. From his position of power, the emperor can better be served by his marshal. Now there is talk of a need to consolidate power. To take so much is to require skilled administration. Today is fine but it's the future we must work towards. You're not the only one who requests a commission of Onagers, and those have been tested. They'll be used extensively in all of our coming battles to bring ruin on our enemy's fortifications. Of course, the Grand Cathedral of Antioch is an audacious goal, one that we will shrine for before in our Lord's lifetime. With the blessing of God and good, wholesome men, we will see it done. And finally, a man of military means calls for war. It would be strange if you didn't, but I can tell you now, we have designs to one day march into Jerusalem. You are correct in saying that our eastern foes diminished, and we can take this time to exploit that. Now, for our story. I am currently 60 years old, and I'm a despotate of Anatolia. I'm able to lead over 3,000 men, and I've been a marshal for two emperors now. I probably won't be here for much longer. My own son and heir is a very good fighter at 43 prowess. He's a legendary blade master. He's gallant too. Unfortunately, he'll be taking the throne whenever he's very old. Now, I'm not going to betray my emperor. I'm not that type of guy. I don't have those types of ambitions, but who knows what might happen further down the line. Now, we're gonna fight one more war. My leader has a lot more men than any rebels who are left, and I'm no longer ill, good. Which is why I'm going to let him fight, because I don't want to play whack-a-mole trying to go after little tiny armies all over. And thank you, my steward. Wow. David, good job. You are really good at 21 for his stewardship. He's a count, too. He rules right over here. 105 gold. Awesome. Excuse me now. On my council, you've become my marshal. What a shame. You're pretty good. Well, you don't hate me now. Let's go over my mini dukes before we get into a battle. Over here, we've got one duke, and he's a pretty decent guy. I conquered his lands, but he's not actually mad at me. He's doing just fine. I gave him his title because he led all three counties anyway. Then we have Tiberius. He serves me too. That's fine. We've got over here another duke, and he's not very good at much of anything at all, but he won't cause me any trouble. Who else do we have? Let's see, my grandson, I gave him a title for the largest duchy that I have. I thought it would be good for him. He'll be married in a few years. Now let's see, there's not a lot of men in your duchy, but hopefully one day that's going to change. And that's really it. They all follow me. Eventually I'll build a title or I'll create a title for Cyprus. Then we'll have another duchy. I could only own two as a king. So off we go. And I did not want to get rid of my two original duchies. I like them a lot. One day I might change it up, but for now, I like what I have. So here's a big battle. They have 1,600 men, two champions. I have nine champions. We're in our maneuver phase. We're moving down a bit. Early battle phase. Okay. Already we are destroying them. Their light footmen are in a lot of trouble. Okay, so we're fighting on the plains and we're easily winning. Well, good job. My son is commanding. He's a great commander. An even better fighter, but a great commander, too. They're gone. Goodbye. We did it. Okay, now we're going to take their capital. So I got you. Oh, you're not bad at fighting at all. I could let you go, I suppose. He'll join me. Sure. Come on, let's go. You're old, but in case I need a new fighter, you'll fight for me. All right, so we're back over here. We're moving over to four speed because currently we're besieging. Yeah, yeah, get over it. That gave me 178 fame. We lost only 83. My champions killed 254. My pikemen 17, light horsemen 27. Oh, they had onagers. Now, 
Let's have a look right over here. A scheme at court. Someone is trying to kill my courtier, Thekla. Good luck. I've got my onagers right over here, so let's get them up, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I could use a bit of help. You're right over here. Raise all there. It'll take 10 days to gather. And I'm leading. I don't really want to lead. Oh, the war's over. Well, never mind. <laughs> Forget about it. Everyone is going home. Well, hold on. They've got 1,600 men close by. I suppose I can help out over there. But after that, I'm going home. Oh, they're going to easily win. Yeah, they won. They don't need me. Now, I'm currently making 9.2 gold per month. That's really good. I would love to use my money to invest in my lands. And who's raiding? Oh, that's very far away. I'm not too worried about that. I'm also keeping an eye on Dan. Dan is right over here. He's a pretty cool guy. I like Dan a lot. I mean, he's a giant. He's a really, really large man. And I hope his rule works out for him. Okay, so we're over here. And my goal for the long term... I think is to conquer all the holy sites like Jerusalem and Alexandria. Rome we'll talk about much, much later. I'm not worried about them over to the west, but over here to the east, I would love to take more from our foes. Look at you. You've got only one child, one son. You're lucky I'm not my father or you would be dead by now. A dagger in your back or something nice like that. Okay, what's over here now? Yeah, give me money. I've got a nice amount of piety. I'm sure he would appreciate to know how much. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to create a new title. Not a kingdom. Oh, no. Not a kingdom. A duchy. That'll do. All right. 200 gold gone. Now, I'm going to give that to... Which one of you? Let's see. Who's a better ruler? You're pretty good. You've got three kids. You've got how many kids? Oh, a lot more. You know what? I'm going to give you a title right now. So now two brothers rule together on Cyprus, which I think is pretty cool. Look at him. Prince Leon. All right. Now, what about you? That's my grandson. I'm not going to change up your contract. You're fine. You keep on doing what you want. So I do need more champions. I'll try to draw in more eventually. Here are my four holdings. I should probably upgrade something or just build something. Something that would make me more money. I love making more money. Barracks are really good too. And I like building walls and towers because I feel like I need to protect everything that I own. So we're going to build that. And now we just need to accrue a bit more money. I'm currently 60, nearly 61. Who knows what might happen next. I did find out something rather interesting. We could have more of our family members in a position of power. If I take out an old man who likes to beat himself. You know what? We're going to do that. He's going to die soon, so let's get rid of him now. I'm going to do a favor for him. Over here, I've got my brother-in-law. We're going to fight for him. There we go. That's only because he's linked to my family. We're going to help him out. So I want all of my forces way over here. I'm going to have my onagers too. I've got plenty of men. So we're currently at speed three. My son, Prince Leon, he's leading. All right. You're now ready. Let's go fight them. We need to take out their capital quickly. I've got 10 pinned characters. I'll probably get rid of a few. And there we go. My level of splendor went up. We're a bit more well known. We're not quite noteworthy, but that'll come in time. Who died? Oh, Tiberius, you died. Ha. <laughs> All right, my boy. You have your position once again. Good job. That worked out pretty well for me. Demetrios, you died too. What happened? Oh, right. <laughs> Wounds. Yeah, I don't really care about him that much. We're going to fight the war now. Let's have a look over here. So, you've got control. Nope, I'm going to change it up. I'm coming back. Give me a moment. Oh, we would lose 100 men. I don't want to lose 100 men. So instead, we'll wait here. If they try to besiege my lands, we'll go back after them. But hopefully they won't do that. Uh-oh got an insurrection right now all of you need to calm down yeah there's my grandson you're fighting a war against two hold on now you're married to my granddaughter oh she doesn't look happy he's a deviant hold on now you can't be a deviant here 
You're lucky you're my ally or I would be able to just get rid of you. All right. Let's keep on fighting. We're not done. If they want to camp out, let them camp out. That's one war over. <laughs> that was quick. I suppose I can't just get rid of them like I want to. I'll keep on trying. Let them be angry. Perfect. I got them. I wonder. Now, I can't take away your title. That's really unfortunate. I could just kill you. I've got a few options over here. But that would be an act of tyranny, so I've got to watch out. I'll just keep him in prison for now. One prisoner died. Oh, speaking of, I probably shouldn't forget about who's here. Captain, you may leave. You don't have a lot of money. He's the leader of a mercenary band, and I don't want to keep him here. Let him go. He was only doing a job for coin. It was really nothing personal. All right. I'm still earning a lot of money despite us fighting a war. I don't need to call in allies. I'll be fine on my own. And we're nearly done here. All right. That gave me a lot of money. Wow. That was a decent amount of coin. Okay, so you need my help. You're a fellow vassal. Who are you fighting? You're not linked to me, right? Oh, right. You're going to marry my granddaughter. You're doing me a favor. She became a leper at a very young age, and I do feel bad for her. But hey, uh, love is skin deep, maybe? All right, so who are you fighting? That guy and a few more people over here. I could join in. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll go fight. Again, you're doing me a big favor by marrying my poor granddaughter, okay? We didn't know what to do with her. Come on. Got him. Okay, let's go down to two speed. Here's a major battle. Okay. We wounded their enemy commander. Another mercenary leader. I believe that was my grandson who did that. Good job, my boy. I've got many more champions than what they have right now. That was very much intentional. All right, the battle's over. They're losing it quickly. See, not every war needs to be about me gaining land directly. That gave me 70 fame. My champions killed 341. Nice. And pardon me? Oh, look at that. My rival died. He died of what? Stress. Good. What an idiot. All right, let's go now. Back up to four speed. Again, if they want to come back, let them. Then I'll go fight over to the northwest. My wife just provided for me 500 more piety. I can't believe what she's done for me. It's rather incredible. I'm not going to kill him. I like him. Our very first leader, religious leader. Now, he had a few issues, but the ones we have now are actually really good. I don't want to leave behind any forces. We'll go out to fight in just a bit. They have quite a few soldiers, and I have a new perk to pick up. Okay. It's over here. A friend, firm hand. Here we go. Embassies. I've got 14 diplomacy. Now I'm going to have how much? 22. Well, all right. I'll take up more prestige. Let's do that. I just want a bit more. It benefits my family. Okay, I am not feeling well. I might die at any moment. I don't like that. <laughs> Naturally, I don't like that. Let's find something new to build because, I mean, again, I need to ensure that we have all the buildings for my son all readied up. So over here, we're going to pick up, let's see, more money would be nice. Sure. Money and levies. We'll take that. Perfect. There goes my coin. I'll make more very soon. We've got 1,500 enemies to kill over to the east. And what do you need? Another duke. You want my help. For years, my skill in record keeping and finance has served me well, and it occurs to me that this knowledge... Oh, he wants to help me. All right. Understood. Okay, we can both benefit if we pull our knowledge together. Or I could gain more prestige. Huh. So he would have a chance to increase my stewardship by two. That's really interesting. Yeah, and then for a few years, if I fell that one, I would get plus three to my stewardship until I probably die. Yeah, you know what? Let's try to help each other just for fun. My stewardship went up by two. I'm just doing better. How about that? Okay, let's see. You like me a lot. You wrote me a letter. Oh, you're a queen. Holy crap. I'm going to frame it. That gave me a lot more prestige again. Look at me go. Even a queen wrote to me. 
which means in the future when we marry off our kids oh there's so much that we're going to be able to do all right it's over it's all done over here so let's go over here to the west i've got a nice hook you're quite welcome but that means over here i've got my nieces and nephews who are going to be in a position of power my nephew is going to become a duke outside of my territory. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. <gasps> no, you're a vassal, even better. So now I have more land, though I'm not his proper leader, so we won't get nearly as much money. That's okay, though. Yeah, if I look at it, it's completely okay. High taxes. I don't want you to have high taxes. No, we're going to bring that back down. I don't need you to hate me. That would be a bad idea. So here you go. Enjoy. I'm not here to rob people. I need them to obey and, of course, be loyal to me. All right, so here we go now. Let's go. Yeah, my son is currently 44. He's been leading us to victory in several wars. I would like to go fight other wars later. Over in the east, of course. All right, we're going down to three speed. Oh, they're losing so quickly. Nice. That's one army gone. Let's go after their capital. That shouldn't take but a minute. I'm helping out my ally now. So we've done a lot of good, I think. I hope we have, anyway. What's over here now? You're fighting a count. So you're attacking. I don't really care for that too much. I suppose I could help out. Let's see. Offer to join. Ah, okay. I can't do that. We could ally, though. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Let's ally. Then, if you want to call me in, do so. Because I can help you out. I would love to help you out. We'll see what he does in time. I don't need to grant a vassal. I could give him over to the Emperor. I might do that if it causes too many issues. Again, I'm not his rightful leader. So I've got a spy master. Ooh, he's been hurt. He probably won't make it. I'm not going to let him go. All right, so we've got some internal squabbles going on. Hopefully no one from my family is dying. That gave me 105 fame. My champions killed 181. We were just talking about that. A little to your fear. My vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I shall win their unwavering loyalty. For 10 years, I'll lose a little bit of money, but they'll like me a lot more. I'm at 5.2 right now. Huh. They like me more. That worked out. I'm earning more. How about that? So we're about to end a siege battle. I've got Onagers. And I would like to know who should end a conflict. It really should be you. Let's see. You've got your leader right over here and you're fighting him. I can't believe you've done this, really. I'm not going to ransom you. But I do want the fighting to stop. So here's what I'm going to do. I just want you to end the war, okay? It's over. Stop fighting. Wait, you're trying to defy me? Well, do as I say. It's going to be a white piece, okay? I just don't want family members dying. So you lose some power. You're going to be okay, young man. You'll be able to rebuild. See, look. He's going to be all right. I really have too much land right now. Like you. You right over here. You probably shouldn't be fighting too much. Who are you fighting? Ah, you're defending. Okay. So what should I do about him? I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. But he's causing issues currently. He's not related to my family. I can't get a claim on him. Okay. I could excommunicate him. You know what? Let's do that. Bother my family? Get excommunicated. Perfect. Perfect. I know, he's done horrible things. So look at that. No more piety for you. Now I wonder. That's right. I might be able to imprison him. Let's do it. Alright. Let's head over here real quick and validate it. <laughs> That's fine. I suppose it's fine. Yeah, look at that. We have over here my niece who's married to a prince. The prince of Hyastan. He's an albino. Interesting. That's way over here. That's a lot of land, too. Fascinating. Alright, so they're all fighting together. Time to disband my forces. 
I'm not going to get involved. Let them all settle things. I mean, I conquered so much, we're bound to have a little bit of instability, right? It's just going to happen. Oh, what happened to you? You lost your titles? Oh, boo-hoo. Maybe you shouldn't have done what you did. All right, I'm going to let him go. He lost it. That guy had so much power, then he gave it all away. What an idiot. He's a deviant, and he began a war, causing, again, instability. So now, let's go look at our holdings. My heir is going to have five holdings. I'm not too worried about getting more currently. Okay, so we have discovered mustering grounds. What is that all about? I need to know. It's over here in tribal. Ah, here we go. Size of minute arms regiments, plus two. And we can have one more. Nice! All right, so I could afford another group, or I could just expand what I have right now. I mean, we have a lot. I feel like I just want to expand what we have now. So here's what I'm going to do. I want more horsemen. That's all going to be for my boy. I'm using my money now to ensure that he has what he needs in order to win his many battles. Nice. I could... Oh, hold on now. My brother-in-law died. What happened? He died of what? Cancer? Oh, <gasps> no, really? Look at that. He's gone. At the very least over here, my grandson is a duke, but he's one-legged. Oh, you better have some kids. I can't believe you lost your leg. All right, you're feeling fine. She's of age. Huh, she's a holy warrior. Amazing. All right, so you're a trained healer. Oh, you're very good. At the very least, you're very intellectual. So how much? 25 gold? Yeah, come on in. Stay here. Live here for a little while. My brother-in-law died of cancer at 42. His children mostly have a lot of power. Ugh, one's a leper. She's alive. I'm very sorry, young man, but I do applaud you for not looking at her and judging her. I know I'm doing that, but come on. I'm granddad. I get to be mean from, from really time to time. Oh, look at that. We've got our Bastions and Curtain Walls, too. What do we have over here? We've got Oliba, who's doing fine. And we have a new perk. All right, what am I going to take? Close family opinion. I like that, too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that right now. I could give my kids a few more skill points before I die, but we'll see. All right, more pastures. Nice. We're just building up a lot. Look at my money. 12.2 for income. Okay, so you were captured briefly, but you're doing fine now. Oh, all the fighting. You guys need to calm down. David unfortunately passed on due to natural causes, which means we need to find someone new to take his place. He was a very good steward, and I'm glad he was here. Now, who's going to take his job? My brother-in-law for now. Would like to integrate one title right over here. We'll take Antioch, or actually, what about you? 59 years. Yeah, we'll take that one instead. For fun. We do need more control. Go to work, my boy. Making more money. And I do not need a claim. Not right now. So what's over here in my court? Little baby, what are you doing here? Where are your parents? Here's your father. Your mother... Oh, okay. She's over here. I understand now. I was wondering why a little baby was here. Let's go to war. I think we should. I might be old, but I've got some fight left in me. Let's have a look. Go after you. But I want a lot more land. So no, that war is not going to work out. Let's come back over here. Oh, hold on. That would be a lot of land. Let's do that. Great. I do not need your help. I'm okay. So here's what we're going to do. I want all of you to come over here. I'm going to build a new building very soon to raise up our entire army. And thank you, holy man. I appreciate your coin. All right. We got your husband coming to help you out. And we're going to battle. Perfect. I've got plenty of soldiers. I can easily win. So you're a trained healer. You're a bit older, and you like to hurt yourself. Interesting. She's like, I can hurt myself and heal myself. It's a live show. Nope, I don't want you in my court. Okay, let's have a look over here. Another fight, huh? My grandson is fighting with his grandmother. You two need to calm down. Quit fighting. Look, don't forget, I'm the best one here. 
as usual. So what's over here in Antioch? We need to build up a new building. It's going to be crop fields. Yep, we'll build hamlets. Perfect. 225 gold gone. But again, in the long term, it's going to help out my son. I'm older and I have a responsibility to provide a better world for my children. That is my responsibility. I've taken something and I've made it better. Hold on. Look at that. You're in prison. You shouldn't be in prison. I would like to get you out. Look, man. To let him go. Hopefully, that won't happen for too long. Yeah, I need those guys to straighten things out. Are you? You're not swayed? Well, you love me already, so we don't need to worry about that. That's a good thing. We've taken one location. We have another one to take over. And you're calling me to war. Interesting. So you're fighting who? You're going to marry my granddaughter here, who's a leper, and you would like to fight someone... Oh, come on. Nope, I'm not getting involved. That's what happens whenever your family is all over. <laughs> it's going to happen, but don't worry. It doesn't really impact me. I just hope no one dies over there. I do not want that. They're not directly in my domain. All right, so we're about to win a siege battle. And let's see, we've got martial guidance. Good, good. They were having a lot of issues over here, but now they like me a lot more. Opinion up. Good work. That's my son. A forgotten dream. I had an amazing dream last night after I woke up. Okay, so I forgot it. I'm not going to try to remember it. It's fine. Let's move on. It's only a dream. I'll have more, I'm sure. Okay, that siege battle is now over. Let's come over here to beat their army of only 982. That shouldn't take too long. Nope, I'm coming down for you. Don't mind me. So you two want to get married. Two geniuses. I like to get courtiers married because it provides for me a crop of people that I can marry into my family if I want people who have great genes. Oh, we won. That was quick and easy. All right, goodbye. So now your lands belong to us too. My God, that's a big duchy. Good for you, pal. Take a look at that. That's really good. All right, disband army. I took a lot more land than I was going to originally, but it's providing me a lot of influence and power, so that makes me happy. Now, we need to build up another building, or we need to upgrade one. Let's see, I just need a lot more money, don't I? You would like to be my friend. How old are you? You're very young. Yeah, sure. We can be friends. So you rule Cappadocia. I've got 200 gold. I should be able to build up something over here. Here we go. One hunter's grounds or hunting lodges or hunting grounds. So we have someone over here who's a known criminal. And you in prison. I ransom you for 50 gold. I'll take that. That's a decent amount of money and I need it. Yeah, get over it, pal. Here's what I'm going to do. I want you to join me. Perfect. Come on in. 16 prowls is really good. Yeah, he's a good hunter. All right. That'll help out my son. So in that battle that we fought, I lost only 28. They lost 982. My champions killed 156. I'm now known for my dedication to my faith. Oh, really? Hey, you might be talking about my wife. I'm not really known for that myself. All right. I cannot found a holy order. One day I am going to do that. One day I would like to strengthen my bloodline if I can. To consecrate it, I would need a lot more piety, and I do not have that much. Not anymore. Once upon a time I did, but I did trade it for a lot of money. All right, so it's currently 920. I'm alive. I'm somehow here, so we're going to fight the big war. My realm is stable, and I would like a lot more than what I have currently. Let's see, that's only one claim. Only one of many claims. So what title... Ah, right over here, I see. And that's part of what? Nothing that we have directly. All right, so we're going to do a holy war. It's going to be a very violent holy war, but we have allies. And it'll be right here. Perfect. All right, we're doing it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but we're doing it now. And I have got to call in many allies. I'm going to be in trouble. So how many men do you have? 
Not a lot, but come on in. And who else do we have? I can call you in. I would lose some prestige, but I've got so much to spend, it doesn't really matter. So let's do that. You too? Just all of you, really. Let's get everyone in. Right over here. Perfect. That's going to be a lot of help. Alright, so I've got my army. I could build up a new building. I think I'll probably wait in the very beginning. Because I don't want them coming for me. My other option for now is to upgrade what I have already. Yeah, I think I would like to do that. Here we go. Even more light horsemen. And I want more bowmen. Perfect. It's a lot of money for sure. But now we have it all together. Alright, I'm going to give my son a bit of coin too. Because again, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. He's 47. He's not going to rule for a very long time, but here's 100 gold, my boy. Enjoy. In my final war for God, I'm going to lead this army. I can lead 3,400 men into battle. And before I even do that, I think I would like to reset my perks over here. I've got a reason for it. Soon, I'm going to pass on. I'm old. I'm going to battle. Groom to roll, we'll pick that up. Then all of my other points will be right over here. Perfect. I'm going down for only one perk. Not true ruler, but writing history. I can commission one epic. Nice. My martial skill, what am I going to take now? I know where I'm going. We've got to do well in battle. King's Guard, I'll take that. We'll come over here. There we are. My siege weapons will be a bit more effective in battle. I'll also take, what's over here? Organized March. Yep. Parthian Tactics. I've got plenty of points, man. I'll pick it all up. I'm here to be a planner. I'm only here to command. That'll do it. All right, that gives me plus three to martial, plus one to diplomacy. More enemy casualties. I can cross any water without any penalties to my advantage. All right, so after that, I'll take... I've got four perks left. I could get Peacemaker. I don't really want that, no. Let's come over here instead. Yeah, that'll do it. Hard roll. Soldiers of Lesser Fortune. No, we don't need that one. A man's home. Perfect. To come to Antioch, I'm going to defend it. But let's go out now. Let's see. My daughter over here has more learning. My other daughter has more stewardship. That's good. And my son, who's a prince here, has now 31 martial skill. He's a great champion in battle, but also a brilliant commander. The guy knows how to fight. And today he's going to fight as a champion. Oh, I've got a mental break. Okay, so what's over here? I could convert. I'm not going to convert. I could become athletic. Yeah, let's do that. Amazing. <laughs> I'm going to work out. I feel better already. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, I'm in better shape. My wife is currently 69. She's much older than I am. I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. Now, what about that epic? I need to look at that. I need 40 more gold. Oh, nice. Get more prestige. Two prestige per month. And 150 more prestige total. Yeah. I've got to have a lot of money for that. But I'm going to get a lot of money. I just need a bit of time. All right, so my allies are on their way, correct? Oh, yeah, they are. All right, so over here, I'm going to pick up... Can I pick up more diplomacy per level of fame? A life of glory. Level of fame impact up by 100%. I do like that tree. That's really cool. Huh. One day, I'll focus on that completely. All right, so we're going. My kids are talented. They know what to do. They know how to handle their lives. All right, so one siege is nearly over. My allies are about to be here. That gave me 17 gold. Oh, and I get a legacy too. Noble veins. Without a question, that's what I want. We need to have good traits. And once we have them, we need to maintain them. Let's go back in. I've got 20 onagers total. Oh, yeah. Got plenty. Plus 1.1 due to my minute arms. So I'll gain Beirut and Tripoli. Oh, look at that. My counselor died. All right. We have a new patriarch. He died at 68 years of age. My patriarch is 26, and he's evidently a very handsome man. 
His learning is really bad, though. Oh, come on. Only eight? That's really bad. I wish I could fire him, but I can't. Oh, they're coming to fight me. Good. Do it. I want you to. Fight me in battle right now. All right, so we do outnumber them. They have three champions total. We are destroying them, absolutely. Yeah, you thought you had something. Oh, they were all wiped out. Now that's good. Okay, I gained 161 prestige, 80 piety. I lost only 41 men. They lost 1,021 men. Only three survivors. My champions killed 208. In our pursuit phase, we got what? Oh, no, they were all wiped out. One main phase. That's all it took. Huh. Later, you idiots. All right, so now we keep on besieging. My allies are close by. I didn't even really need help. How many men do you have anyway? Oh, you're in so much debt. You're such a bad leader. What are you doing? At least I know my son will not be overwhelmed by you, fool. All right, we're going up to four speed. Let's keep on fighting. One more location taken. Cool. We'll come on down over here to Tripoli. Let's go. I've got some conquering to do. My wife is now 70 years of age. Younger than ever. Oh, yeah, sure, man. Get out of here. Give me your money. Awesome. All right, I'm old and I would like my epic, but currently I'm commanding my army. My army is more important. I might die before I can write it, but if so, that's okay. Leading my army into battle is much more important to me. That's all I want to do currently. Yeah, they gave me a decent amount of money. Cool. They have 3,000 enemies over here, 2,995 there. They're in Antioch. I've got to go back, but I'm about to win a siege battle. Let's do that first, then we'll head back. Come on. We got it. We got it. Let's go up north. Let's move. They're going to outnumber me, but I don't care. Oh, thank you, steward. That's my brother-in-law. 75 more gold. I've got more prisoners, too. Much money. You don't have 100? Then you're staying. You've got 25. You may leave. Excuse me. For you. You're not part of my family. You're not truly focus. Yeah, take that. And who else is going to pay me? 25 gold again? Yep, I'll take it. Come on down. Let's fight. All right. So I am outnumbered again. They have more on the way. Another 2,900. But my allies are on the way too. Let's have a look. I don't have the money yet. I'll have to wait for that one. I'm a little bit worried about our current battle. Wait, no, they're right here. Good. I don't have to be worried. Let's go and have a look. So you were wounded, but not maimed. Good call. My allies are moving in. I was going to win the battle anyway. That's incredible. Oh, we maimed one of their boys. But my champion was maimed too. Yeah, he's a bit older. Hold on. Let's come over here. So, Thomas, you're the cannibal. It's still very much alive. You've got children. Hopefully they're not cannibals. You lost your leg in battle. Really? Oh, you crazy old coot. You did so well for so long. That's okay. All right. Look at that. We maimed one of their boys. The battle is now over. Say goodbye to your army. All right. I'm coming back out to besiege another location. Let's go do that right away at four speed. I gained 300 fame, 150 devotion. My champions killed 1,078. Whoa, they were destroyed. They lost 2,431. They've got 3,500 survivors. Well, good for them. Someone is trying to kill you? Well, have fun. That's drama I don't want to be involved in. It's currently the year 921. I am 66 years of age. The war is not yet over. One day. One day, though. All right, let's take over Beirut. That's what we need. Going down to five speed. Let's move quickly. It's a very brief war. All right, that's over. We're at 72%. I'm still leading. I've got money left somehow. All right, we'll head on over to the mountains. I've got supplies too. All right, so now we're over here. They have 4,922 men. I would love to go fight them, but... Let's see. 
I suppose I could. I thought they would pull back or my allies would get them. My hamlets are done. I've got more prisoners. Can I make more money? Oh, you can give me more money. Good. Yeah, do that. Do that right now. And how much money do you have? Only 44. You're staying in prison. You've got 25. I'll take you. You've got 50. Yep, come on. And only 10 for you. What a great way to make more coin. Whoa. I'm at 731. I need more money. I'm so close to where I need to be. All right, hold on. Let's go fight this army. They're currently in Antioch. I told you before, I'm not going to let them take it. All right, let's have a look over here at only two speed. I only went that fast because we were doing siege battles. Otherwise, I never like to move that fast. All right, 37 for my commander advantage. You have only 10. <laughs> Goodbye. The Battle of Antioch. Now they have fallen again. Come on, let me capture him. Now that would be a lot of coin that he wouldn't have, actually. Hey, I did catch him. How about that? Well, hold on. I wonder. No, he's not going to pay me. That's unfortunate. Who else do we have over here? 10 gold for you. We've got, let's see, only 46. I want 100. That gave me 250 fame, 125 devotion. My champions killed 694, but unfortunately, Nikiforos died in battle. He was one-legged. He was hurt, but he went out like a grand warrior. He's got so many children who are able to carry on his legacy. Your son is decent. He's not great, but he's decent. <laughs> he's got a beautiful mustache, too. <laughs> well, good for him. All right. So that's over. He died in battle. I could end it now, but I wonder. I am so close to where I need to be, man. So very close. I wish I could make it there. That would be awesome. 10 more gold. Just need to make a little bit more. All right. Hold on. Back to my prison. How do you not have money? Oh, I could just kill you. That's interesting. I love the idea of doing that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not of my god. I could boil you alive. I could do quite a few things. I do have a fair reason. Why don't we... Not hang him. I could drown him. I would gain some stress and dread. Let's boil him alive. Actually, we'll just burn him, I suppose. Yeah. We'll burn him alive. Goodbye. He's dead. All right, I don't have to worry about him anymore. So the war is over. We've beaten them. I just need to make a little bit more coin if I can. For besieging a new location, you have only 47. Are you going to make more? I hope you'll make more. You're probably not making too much. Oh, yeah, you're not. Here, just give me money before you die. Yeah. Let's hurry and do that. I've lost 50 for my piety. That's okay. All thanks to my chaplain. I really need to get rid of him. All right, so that puts me at 810. I'm currently at 810. If only I could have a little bit more money. Oh, that would be so sweet. That's okay, though. I don't think I'll make it there in time. Let's end our war. I've got my Holy Land. That way, I can disband my army. Done. I'm currently making more money now, and I've gained a few new locations. All right, so here's what I need you to do. Patriarch, come on out. Go convert. Seven years for you because you're very bad at your job. Remote culture. Yep, do that. How many years? Five years. More months to go. Then we'll have more control. I'm at 810 gold. A faction created against me. Good luck. You can try if you want to. All right, I've got a new perk again. Here we go. More diplomacy per level of fame. I'll take that. I like that. So now I've got... Let's see, a decent 24 Diplomacy, 27 for Marshall. I've done so much. Most of my children are still alive. One died in childbirth, unfortunately, but she has many beautiful children. And again, if I could just last for like maybe a few more years, I could begin to build that great cathedral. That would be awesome. But for now, let's work on what we have. I could also invest all of my money into these lands over here. I've got good news and bad news. Bad news, my wife died of old age at 72. But I'm about to get 1,000 gold coins. 
I can do what I've been wanting to do for many, many years. I'm currently 68. I have a new wife. She won't be here for long, trust me. She's got a few kids, too. Now, let's come over to Antioch. It's about time for me to build my grand cathedral. I just need a bit more time. Perfect. Done. The holy site in this area attracts Christian pilgrims from all around the known world. The Grand Cathedral is not just a marvel of engineering and beauty, but also a safe haven for travelers and a prestigious monument to its sponsor. That's me! Look at how much we're going to gain. We're holding taxes, more development, a lot more money, two gold per month alone. And also for my realm, more piety, more renown, all of that. It only improves. That's only one holy site as well. I finally did it. 69 years old. I could pass on now. I've done every goal that I've wanted to do in my current lifetime. It's about time for me to relax. Who wants to kill you, man? Oh my god, your arm! You were maimed! He won't be here for much longer anyway. My poor friend! Who's trying to kill him? Oh, your rival who hates you. I've not seen a missing limb before. That was brutal, man. Okay, plus one to learning. Thank you, lady. That's my wife. She's improving. And down over here, we're just trying to maintain the peace. They're not very happy. That's okay, though. Oh my god, most members of my council are now dead. The prince died. I have a new spy master. She's older. Who's over here? You've got a skill of 22. My god, vassal. Look at you, Pavlos. You're doing so well. Yeah, Prince Leon died. Here's my nephew. 22 years old. Oh, look at that. You're a doctor. Nice. Bardas, you're only 44. Oh. Your choices are a little bit darker. He's got a lot of kids, too. What about my emperor? I need to know about him. How is he doing? Let's see. 30 years old. Only one kid right now. We're looking at one grandchild. It wasn't a matrilineal marriage. Trying to get that to happen could be difficult. Unless you're doing very shadowy things. But let's have a look at our empire. I mean, we've grown. Over time, we're taking more of Italy. That's really nice. It's currently 924. Once I pass on, my son is going to be 51. Wow. He's actually got a lot of men under his command. A decent amount of money. I've got 100 gold currently. What's over here? I can imprison more people. What did you do? Oh, fornicating again. Okay, well, that's your drama, okay? Bokas, what about you? You're lucky I'm not just. Excommunicated, right. Well, good luck, buddy. Enjoy your life. I'm not going to bother them. I could use a new champion. Well, actually, quite a few new champions. I'm pretty low. I'll have to go hunting very soon. I'll have to draw in some through marriage. I think I might just do that now. I've got a couple champions in already, but let's get more. She's 17. We'll sort by... Where is it at? Prowess. Now I've got to find someone who's not too old. Otherwise, they'll die quickly. Gotta be matrilineal too. Yeah, that'll change up a lot. Let's go back down to prowess again. Alright, if you're in your 30s, that wouldn't be too bad. Here we go. German. 21 prowess. I'll take it, man. Yeah, come on in. Another champion for me. We'll come back over here. I've got some people who are not married. You're going to be married. What about you, Maria? Yeah, some people like giant old ladies. Why not? Back down to prowess. Could find someone a bit older. Let's see, 50, 30. You've got 21 for prowess. Perfect. Come on in. That's why having talented people in your court, no matter who they are, can be quite handy. All right, so you're a giant too. Let's find another person who's into big ladies. All right, Prowess, we need someone a bit younger, as I said before. You are what? At 20 Prowess? Yeah, come on in. Perfect. That gives me three more. All right, I'll have what I need. That's how I keep it all together. I just keep on having people marry into my line, into my court too. Over here, you two can get married. Oh, hey, you want to marry my courtier. She's beautiful. I don't blame you. Have fun. So you just moved on up into the world. 
Here we go. We've got a child of Prince Leon. He passed on. He was only 56, too. He's really not that old. Okay, here's a new perk. Look at what I have now. A brand new trait. That's pretty cool. Plus two to my diplomacy. Plus one to martial. Plus one to prestige. I hope my wife doesn't get pregnant. <laughs> I actually don't want her to. All right. Here's my epic. I've got money for it. What I need is a classical tale of the grandeur of my family. A chronicle about the origins of the Focas dynasty. And how we are destined for greatness. I only need someone who knows how to tell a story. Who are you? Oh my god. 32 learning? My man. He's a scholar. 200 gold. I'll go into debt. I'm doing it now. It's done. That's way too good. I can't say no to that. That's mine, man. Okay, it's going to focus on renown, prestige. It is a family history. My family epic seems to be progressing well. And some lines are already sounding like they will be quoted for decades to come. But he has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if he read it all first. Then I could tell him what I dislike about it. But he insists it needs answers now. It's a family history, and I'll go into debt for it. I'll make that money back quickly. I mean, I'm at 13.2 per month, which is quite a bit. If only I had more piety, but my wife is not here. What now? Good. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your help. I don't want to change up anything. I could put a few of you in jail. I'm choosing not to. Oh, it's my niece. She's a criminal. What have you been doing lately? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, you tried to murder a family member. <laughs> All right. Well, again, family drama. I don't want to be involved. The Empire is doing well. We have no wars right now. You're currently 30. You have only one child. Well, you are chaste, which is really bad for a ruler to be. <laughs> All right. So you've been reading parts of my new family epic. He has discovered discrepancies between promises made in the past and our current reality. I can tell that he will not let it go anytime soon. Surely you can see how wise and benevolent it would be to fulfill your forebear's promise even now. Oh, you. A look over here. You know what? I need you to shut up. <laughs> I don't want to lose control, so we're not going to do that. He's not even very talented at his own job, so don't tell me about my job, pal. I don't need that from you. Yeah, I'm in debt. We have a truce. I've got to leave him alone for now. He's lucky. Okay, so most of my dukes are doing well. We have many children out there. Word has reached me that a monk renowned for his illuminations is staying in a town in Beirut. With my family epic progressing, this might be the ideal time to think about what the pages should look like once all is said and done. Interesting. Another 100 gold. You know what? I'll let him do it. He's very good. I mean, look at that. 32 learning. 92% chance for excellent illuminations. All right. I believe you, my friend. Let's make it happen. Let's get out of debt, too. <laughs> that might take a minute. I'm going up to five speed. There we go. We're back over here. It's done. He has completed my epic here. And what a glorious chronicle he has composed. It is high drama, moral quandaries, intense duels. Everything my family has been forged from is in there. Even the part with the River of Silver, seemingly so far-fetched, has become a touching moment outlining the destiny of my house. Look at that. 75 renown for my family, 75 prestige, and over here, 5 prestige per month for 10 years. I mean, I won't be here for much longer, but that's great. We're getting 17.6 for prestige right now. After all the time he has spent in my court and how well he has gotten to know me, it feels strange that he is about to depart. I have other places to go and other stories that need telling, he tries to explain. I could get him to join my court, but I can't really hire him for any job. Then again, he could educate my children, but goodbye, my friend. You did a great job. I'm glad I met him. What a cool guy. Wish he was married. He's way too talented. He needs kids. He needs to pass it on. All right, so you've gained what plus two to learning? Well, that's good. Oh, she's not feeling well. What if I outlive her? That would be awful. All right, so you are a count. Interesting. How is Bulgaria doing, by the way? Huh. They have a very young leader. 
over 1,000 men under their command. They're fighting two wars. They're losing one war. You've got a sibling over here. So your mother has had two children. Oh, she's a fornicator. Here's a bastard. We don't know who the father is. Interesting. That could lead to issues. There we go. I'm no longer in debt. I'm no longer in debt, and I am 70 years old. I am so old now. Oh, look at that. Peasants who would like to rebel. Yeah, you should do that. I'm sure it's going to end well for you. You can totally beat me. I've lost all my battles, and I've never beaten peasants. Let's go. Let's go beat them. I don't even need a lot of men. We're just charging right in. All right, that's group number one. Going down to two speed. It's a very easy battle for me. And the war is now over. That was quick. That's all that we had to do was just kind of walk down, sneeze at them. Now they're done for. So I've got to torture you. No, I'm not going to torture you. That would be wrong. But I am going to kill you. But I don't want to spend piety. I don't have a lot. You know what? We're going to crush them. <laughs> Bye now. Well, maybe you shouldn't come over here attempting to begin rebellions. It's a bad idea. So he was crushed. Now, I'm old. I've only got a little bit of time left, I think. I'm glad my wife is not pregnant. I did not want her to be pregnant. I'm just here for a bit of companionship. Am I getting weight? I feel like I'm getting weight. My son is going to be 54 years old, potentially older if I don't pass soon. Yeah, I'm running out of hooks right now. I wonder how Dan is doing. So, Dan, you've got some kids over here. Oh, no. Dan, come on. Incest? You shouldn't be doing that. Oh, nice. The culture has changed over here in Tripoli. Who do we have in my court? You're fairly talented. At least when it comes to a few skills like diplomacy and martial. You're going to marry that young man. Nope, I don't need him. Nor do I need any of you. Now, you've got 13 for prowess, which is really not too bad. So, come on in. I'm going to find you someone to marry. Not my granddaughter, no. That shall never happen. But you can marry her. Perfect. Okay. I need to go convert more people. Right over here in Beirut. Perfect. Then for control, we're not quite done, are we? No, we've got a few locations to worry about. One working down here. There are people who keep trying to rebel. Alright, you're still working on integrating that title. Good. And Tripoli will be converted in only 11 months. Alright, so everyone is joining me. A scheme at court. Who's trying to kill you? I don't care. That's my way of saying I don't care right now. Alright, so if we have a look over here, we've got someone who has a claim. Oh, you have a lot of claims, but on lands I don't really need to worry about right now. That's far from me. Little to your fear once again. So... I now rest in the arms of the Lord at 72 years of age. He died of old age, known to be an exceptional strategist. He spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troops. Leon ascends to the throne. Energetic and collected, Leon will surely improve the realm under his rule. He's 55 now. We have done it. We have carried out our story, everyone. He has lived a full life. Our grand cathedral will be done in just a few years. Thank you for watching. Look forward to a new saga for Leon, my son.